go boldly. And this is Uncut News. Do you remember the UJ student who was accused of phoning in a fake bomb threat at the university in 2019? Well, as expected, the magistrate's court has dismissed the case brought against Shaniza Diane Jafferoli after upholding a no case submission made by Jafferoli's legal team. This was in spite of the fact that the state brought at least nine witnesses against her. She was accused of the incredibly long charge of improper use of public telecommunications system contrary to the Telecommunications Act Chapter 4702 to issue bomb threats against the University of Guyana for purpose of causing needless anxiety to the staff and students of the University of Guyana, a false message she knew to be false. Yes, that was the charge. Well, I'll leave you to draw your own opinions on this result. The Bartica miner who was accused of burning his family alive in a house fire last month has been remanded to prison for the crime. Today, Kenford Downer appeared before the Freedom Hoop Magistrates Court to answer to three counts of murder. The prosecution accused Downer of having set fire to his family's house at Four Mile Squatting Area in Bartica on December 12, 2020. The ensuing fire killed his wife, 48-year-old Carolina Kennedy, and their two children, 5-year-old Mariana Downer and 3-year-old Gabriella Kennedy. He was remanded to prison until January 27th, when he will make his next court appearance. Police are currently looking for the man who they say is responsible for the murder of 44 bus park clothes vendor Paul Anthony Smith, aka Blocker. The cops say that 54-year-old Sean Jones of Lot 245 East Lepenitent is wanted for questioning in relation to the January 1st murder at Commerce Street in Georgetown. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's car of the day. Currently on sale is this 2012 Toyota Allion. It comes with TV, navigation serial, crystal lights, margarines, fog lamps, and much, much more. Pay cash for $3.1 million, or pay down as low as $620,000 with around $60,000 monthly, and it's yours. Call the WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info, or visit their showrooms at Lot 171 Peter Rowe Street, Queenstown, or Lot 2 Lamar Street, and tell them Noriko sent you for this sweet, sweet deal. Crime Chief Wendell Blunham said that the FBI will be assisting the police force in solving the murders of the Burbies teens Joel and Isaiah Henry and Harry Singh. Blunham says the FBI is currently in the process of assisting the force in certain technical aspects of the investigations, whatever that means. He actually didn't even specify what those aspects were. Additionally, he noted that the FBI would actually be working in the US and not even in Guyana. Exxon has started drilling at the Bulletwood 1 well site on the Kanji block. The Kanji block is operated by Exxon, which possesses a 35% share, while Total has 35, JHI Associates has 17.5, and Mid Atlantic Oil and Gas has 12.5%. Bullet Wood is a 500 million barrel oil prospect. Drilling operations at the site are scheduled to be completed on or before the 23rd of February. So, drill, baby, drill. This morning, the Burbies businesswoman accused of scamming 56 men with thick oil and gas certification programs was slapped with 17 fraud charges. Simone Fortune was released on $680,000 bail when she appeared in the New Amsterdam Magistrates Court. She pleaded not guilty to the 17 charges brought against her for obtaining money by false pretense. Fortune was also required to launch a passport and was required to report to the Central Police Station every Friday. The matter was adjourned until January 26, 2021. Great news for those of you who are still looking for an affordable smartphone. The sale has been extended. Get the Logic L60 for just $20,000. It comes with one year warranty and free digital prime bundle. Available at Cellular Bus in the City Mall, Starbrook Square, and Sunday opening at Massey Providence and Marcy Turkine. Don't miss out. Last night, a taxi driver was carjacked by two mask men posing as customers in Parfait Harmony. According to reports, when they reached their destination at Policeman Corner, the two men choked and robbed the man of all his belongings at gunpoint. The men then proceeded to drive away with Narayan's car, a white Toyota Spacio license plate number PNN 2814. See, just as I told you before about Parfait Harmony, you couldn't even pay me to live there. It is the damn ghetto. You all want to say Sophia's terrible or even Boxton, but nothing beats Parfait Harmony. Now it's time for today's Rona Report. Today, the nation recorded 29 new cases. 
The total number of deaths now stands at 167. There are now four persons in the ICU and 262 persons in home isolation. The total number of known cases in the country is now 6,436. So, please people, wash your hands frequently. Avoid touching your nose and mouth and mask up before you leave the house. When you do leave home, try to avoid enclosed spaces and large crowds, and remember to give six feet of space between you and others. Now, let's take a look at news in the region and around the world. Today, the EU said that it can no longer legally recognize Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido as the country's legitimate head of state after he lost his position as the head of parliament. But they denounced the December 6th parliamentary election that many countries say was rigged and stressed that the EU still did not recognize Maduro as president. The new assembly, now controlled by Maduro supporters, began work today. Nevertheless, Guaido is still seen by the US and Britain as Venezuela's rightful leader. Who said luxury can't be affordable? Move into your own home in 2021. Lenora Estates, West Coast Emerald Properties are within your reach. Move out to the landlord's place and put that rent money towards your own 5,000 square feet property. Call the WhatsApp 592-618-5701 or telephone number plus one 516-476-2172. It was chaos in Washington, D.C. today as thousands of Trump supporters descended on the city for rallies in support of him. Trump took to the stage at about noon claiming that he had won the election. Following one of the rallies at the U.S. Capitol, hundreds of people pushed past Capitol Police trying to block them from entering the U.S. Capitol building as lawmakers were inside Congress debating the certification of the presidential results. Senators have since locked down in their offices and reports claim that at least one person was shot in the process. The National Guard has also been deployed on the city, and the mayor of DC has since imposed a curfew. And now for our weird news story of the day. One production company in Denmark is trying to get kids to watch a show about a man with a giant willy that uses it to do everyday tasks like some demented inspector gadget. Yes, the cartoon character's name is John Dillamond, which literally translates to Penis Man and he apparently uses his stretchable willy to accomplish tasks such as creating murals, stealing ice cream from children, and even performing daring rescue missions such as using it as a helicopter. Sounds pretty weird, right? But did I mention that it is aimed at children between the ages of 4 and 8? Naturally, this has raised a few eyebrows and even sparked a debate over when and if genitalia is ever an appropriate subject for a children's TV show. I'd argue never. But the creators of the show say that John Dillerman has never used his willy sexually, meaning that the show is only perverted if you think it's perverted. Well, people, welcome to the dumpster fire that is 2021. Too many terrible drivers on the road. Don't be one of them. Book a beginner's driver's course with fast learners. Forget asking your relative to teach you. They will hull upon you like you're a dog. Fast learners are professional and makes it easy for you to learn with less anxiety. Call them now on telephone number 690-6868 or follow them on Facebook at Fast Learners Driving School. Moving on to our Uncut News Viewers Poll Question of the Day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Guyana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it relates to us. So, you give your responses in the comments and we'll read the best ones in the following episode. Yesterday's question was, should police have to apply for malpractice insurance like doctors? Abraham Richard said, they should have malpractice insurance for when the police mess up so as taxpayers don't have to feel the squeeze. M. Caesar said, The lawlessness of police brutality has gone on for so long people look on it as a norm. So no special insurance will only be another added burden to the public one way or another. And finally, Samuel Ramsey said, The senior officials in the police force won't want the junior ranks to have insurance because they won't be able to fire as they like and transfer as they like. All right, thanks for those answers. So tonight I'll leave you with this question. Since America does like to be in our election business, let's get into theirs. What do you think about the whole Trump supporters' uprisings today? Is it just a bunch of angry hicks, or is there something much more dangerous to the nation? Think about that question and tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in Wednesday's episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. Check us out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Bullvord saying good night, folks. Hey, Uncut News viewers, thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on this button over here. 
or click over there for more news. You can also drop a comment to let me know if you've made it to the end of the video. Goodbye for now!